What's going on, people? It's your boy, Barnes. I'm not sure what happened there. Big up to you all. Welcome to Beijing Reds TV preview show. Fulham versus Liverpool. <clears throat> big up to everybody in the chat. Revenite, big up. Hopefully, you all had a good show last night. I was unavailable, unfortunately. But uh, love as always for supporting us every Friday night for the Friday Night Love line. Yeah, the intro seemed to be bugged. I don't know what happened there at all. It just cut out. I don't know what happened. Anyway, we're gonna do the we we're gonna bring you the uh, preview show. Not gonna be a long one. Um, I run it solo today. But big up to Revan Knight. Arsenal did the job. Time to do ours. I'm not confident though. I'm in the same boat as you. I am not confident at all. Revenant said a couple of weeks. Redbird said a couple of weeks ago we we were buzzing. Sometimes life is cruel. It is true. It is cruel sometimes. Hate to say it, Gunners are looking good. Yeah. Big up to Liam. Big up to honesty. Love is always for supporting the channel each and every time. We would not be where we are today if it wasn't for you guys. Yeah, Fulham. Coming off of that, Juanil Palace. Then the crap shoot against Atalanta. I ain't gonna lie, peoples. I am not fully confident at all. At all. At all. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. I'm trying to be as positive as I can, but I ain't all that positive. I'll be honest with you. I will be in, I will be honest, honest with you. Who knows what can happen? All I know is that Arsenal ain't been in City ain't gonna drop points, so which is fine. But it's just frustrating to know that we were there to do something this season. And yeah, that we be honest. We messed up. Players head gone, manager head gone. I ain't all man. Big up psychedelic, big up bro. If we drop points, it will not be good. It already ain't good, bro. It already ain't good. Um, I don't think we can miraculously come out tomorrow and play any different than what we've seen. I don't know if the guy's head in the sand. I don't know if their mentality is gone. I don't know if they've given up. I don't know if they're only playing for the manager and not for the badge. I ain't know, man. I ain't know. But... I have a feeling that we can drop more points tomorrow. Don't call me negative, but I have a feeling that we will. So let me get into the lineups, man. Let me get into your lineups. Obviously, Allison will be starting in goal. On the right side, it's going to be Trent because our boy, um, Bradley is out with an injury. On the right, it will be Robertson. I don't see Gomez start in this game, to be honest. Virgil will captain at the back. And I will surprise you guys with something. Actually, you know what? Here's what you're going to do. Yeah, I can do it. I think Kwanzaa should get the start. This is just my opinion on who should start in this game. Revenant said, he says, what? Well, I keep hearing we've been in the league still, Barnes. I ain't seeing it. I ain't seeing it either. That's the truth. I ain't seeing it neither. Peoples, make sure you smash them like buttons for me so we can get the channel out there even more and the videos out there so we can grow even further. We're currently at about just under 3,500 subs um, on your road to 4K, but support's always been blessed from you all. In the six. Who started in this game, people? Tell me. Endo? Anyone feel Endo? Anyone feel Mac? Um, Aaron says, my eight-year-old daughter just sang at the screen, walk on, walk on, with hope in your heart. Her name is Clara. Could you say hi? Big up to Clara. Hello to you, Clara. 
Big up. Yes. Big up, Aaron. Your eight-year-old daughter knows your song. That is awesome. Love that. Love that. If Sabozo starts, I will not be on the watch alone. Apologies, Barnes. Now, nah, Revenue, you're going to be on the watch alone regardless. You want our biggest supporters, bro. You can't boycott the men like that. What's wrong with you, bro? What's wrong with you, bro? Cheese you. Well, you can just abandon the fellas just so? Come on. Come on, man. Come on, my man. Come on. Let me not do that. Let me not do that. Oh, man. Where is that song? I want to play that song for Clara. Where is it? I have it here. Here we go. All right, this is for your daughter, Clara, bro. She watching? This is for her. Big up to your daughter, Clara, bro. Big up to your daughter, Clara. Ah. Let's see what honesty saying. My team selections are Ali, Vividi, Ebu, Trent, Robo, midfield, Matt 10, CJ, Sabozalai, Attack, Darwin, left wing, Jota, Striker, Lucho, right wing. Salah can hold bench. Jeez, you. Ah. That's awesome. That is awesome, Aaron. That is awesome. Big up, Daryl, Mary, Endo, Elliot, McAllister. Yeah, I think Endo for me is starting this game, to be honest. Um, he's the only one I want to see there. And unfortunately, well, fortunately, I think I put in Curtis in here. And I put in McAllister on the other side. I am not playing down at Sabaza Light whatsoever big up alexander big up yeah i can do things a little bit crazy here i am going to play diaz on the right salak a whole bench i ain't want to see nothing from salad tomorrow jota will be striking for me as our striker and on the right side i playing cody gap for darwin a whole bench as well I tired of these guys, to be honest. I tired. See, Daryl feeling the same way I do. Gapo Diaz Jota. Yeah. Big up Tarmizzi. Big up, bro. Alexander feel confident. He says we're going back to winning ways tomorrow. Let's hope, man. AD says, big up. I just want a win, nothing less. I want a win too, but I ain't overly confident. Big up D. Big up, Mrs. Producer. People, how y'all feel about that lineup? Because I ain't want to see Salah. I ain't want to see Nunes. They can come off the bench. They can play in the second half with 20, 25 minutes left to spare. And that's about it. I ain't interested in nothing else. That's the truth. I fed up with them, man. You with them in playing? Nah. Don't want to see them. I'd rather play Kwanzaa than Kanai. I'd rather play... I, honestly, I would play Kwanzaa there, and I would actually... Here's how fed up I am with everybody, right? Kanata didn't have a bad game. He had to do so much running. Actually, you know what? Nah. Verge got a player. Kanata made terrible passes. Yeah. I changed my mind. Daryl says I'm ready for Salah to depart. Me and you both. Me and you both. Mikael Music, how many goals do you think there will be during the match? Um, three in total. In total. Three. Psychedelic said that's a solid chance. Yeah, the other day stunk differently. Psychedelic. It stink worse than that. It stink worse than that. 
This whole body stink. It's all upon squidly settings. Take your time, squidly. Me I ride bike and you I ride bicycle and you lead me. Watch your roach gully corner. Watch your roach gully corner. Squidly. Squidly. Fully salt your pussy clot in a year to no. <laughs> Salah on squidly set settings. VVD has been garbage too. Fox. I don't know what Salah was doing or what he was hitting up, to be honest, in that game against Atalanta. If he had only scored that, that would have put us 2 0 up. Tremendous pressure would have been on Atalanta. And I think we could have actually got a result. He thought that he missed that so badly, right? Just goes to show you that these guys, all of them, head in the clouds. That man was some on some psychedelic mushrooms or something over the last few weeks. And it's it's sad actually. It's actually very, very sad to see. Nobody expected that. I mean, to be fair, none of us expected we to be in a hot title hunt this season, but expectations change. Where you've been playing. The way we've been playing, I mean, not great, but we've been squeaking out wings, grinding out wings, doing doing this and doing that to do enough to get a win. The comebacks, I mean, fair enough, we've been letting teams score first for a very, very long time. So we've all been coming from behind. Pause. Um, but yeah, it... I looking for, I looking forward to the change. I'll give me honest. I might sound a little deflated, but I'm looking forward to the change for next season. New manager, new system, new style, new coaches, new voice, and new energy, new life. Let me just put it all. I will get a good look at the squad live when they're in the preseason tour in North America. I am going to go and see them in philly against arsenal so we should probably got some new signings as well into the squad so we would um we'll see what the formations will be and how we're gonna gonna transition to the new to the new style of player but I, what i will what i do know is that michael edwards is going to make big big changes this season big big changes this off season so I firmly believe that some players that we see here right now are not going to be here next season. That's just me. That is me. Iron think 3-1 to the Reds. Okay, Iron. I like that. I like the I like the positivity there. Nicholas Jackson made Nukenez look good. Yeah, Daryl, man. It is true. He does. He does. But Nunez still ain't good enough. I can be honest. Pop's hunting me now, Barnes, because they want to sell more. No. <laughs> uh RS is heavy metal football until the end of the season. Klopp has earned it. Uh all right. Here's what you can say, Aaron. The football that we're playing right now clearly is not Jurgen Klopp football. Jurgen Klopp is actually play completely different than what we're seeing right now. This is Pep Linder's football. Jurgen Klopp is press congest full pressure from the front midfield is your engine and your workhorse and the two wings bombing up the sidelines and putting a whipping balls into the box we have not seen that in forever this inverted thing i feel in my opinion this is a pet linder's adjustment and let me be honest, a lot of these players that was bought, Gapo, and a few others, Pep is who encouraged the signings for this style of football. It worked for a little bit, but something broken. The wheels fall off. You may try pulling a wheelie and do a speed wobble and fall down. So... We gotta see what's gonna happen next season. But I know we're not gonna not gonna be this same the same thing. I heard the rumors about Kudas too. So let me see, man. Let me see. 
Alexander says supporting Liverpool is difficult now, but we have to support. Yeah, I mean, it's my club, right? I love the club. So got to support as tough as it is. Got to support. I'm confident we beat Fulham full 4 0. Wow, Alexander. Craven Cottage is no easy ground to go into, you know. Aaron, a lot no link for the job. Oi. Okay. Oh, wow. If we sell Salah, someone needs to be there to catch Pops when he faints. <laughs> I agree. Uh, big up the Pops. Exactly, honesty. Pops, they're peeping. Agent bro, chin up and we go at it, hammer and tongues and give yours in a proper send off. Yeah, we can give him a proper send off at Anfield, but I can tell you one thing I am not in support of no, no parade going through the six, the going through the streets of Liverpool, giving him a send off. Give him a send off at the last game of the season, or if you want to have the, the stadium open up 60,000 and give him a send off there in the stadium. I ain't with the Paul Parade thing because you know what gonna happen? They can bring the, the if we if the League Cup is the only thing we win, they can bring that on the bus, and I do not want to see it whatsoever. Leave it at at the Frickman at the center. Do not bring that anywhere close to the bus. Bonkers said one two going to be tough. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a tough. I think it's gonna be tough. I agree. Kudos hopefully coming to snatch that crown from more. Listen, I sell him more for Kudos in a heartbeat. I ain't about the sentimental stuff. Thank you more for his services. It's been great. The ride's been great. Mane's time was up. Bobby's time was up. No, for me, your time is up. You are not the same player. You don't have no speed. You can't beat your man. Pause. Dribble pass. You don't press anymore. Your legs starting to give up for you. Yeah. Crazy. Why has Klopp allowed himself to be brainwashed by Linders? That is a golden question, Colin. Golden question. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, says Revenant, we need to call 91 immediately after for Fabrizio Romano says Salah to Al Hilal is a done deal. <laughs> Yeah, some people can be going crazy. That is true. That is true. Liverpool have reportedly started formal discussions with Porto midfielder Alan Varela as they gear up for upcoming summer transfer with window. Yeah. Aaron Slot, fine art coach. Uh, don't I ain't want no, 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 no coach from the Dutch league. I'm sorry. You see what Ten Hag doing in Manchester United? Nah, 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 nah. I ain't about that at all. Had my say and we'll say again. Football denies logic. Nothing's guaranteed since last twist happening. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely said pops. It's the mind that kills me. If not, I'm really want to see Hansi flick. Yes, I am with you, Daryl, too. I am with you. Salah's been excellent for most of the season. It could just be bad for him. He could score a hat trick tomorrow. You never know. BW, I, I agree with you. He could, but... We have to be honest. We can't sentimental. We can't keep carrying on with all the players and and just laying a walk we on a free because he ain't gonna get a new contract. You know what I mean? And he got one season left after next season. We've seen the tail off. If you if Mo's not going to accept being a squad player and coming off the bench, let me be honest. Um, that's not gonna happen. So, is I, I, in my opinion, it's time to cash him out and put a younger player there who could be quality because the formation is going to be different. If you're still going to keep Mohamed Salah in the team, then you need to. He cannot be a right wing anymore. You have to change your formation and maybe play more either in a two striker situation, a four four two, or play a four two three one, and more being number ten. He does have the vision that he can pass the ball. He can still hit, strike a ball well. But he does not have the legs to run up and down and cover and press like before. He just don't. You could see his his pace has dropped, has fallen off. Um, he can't dribble past people technically. No, because Mo used to just chip the ball a lot past people and just run past you. 
Now he can't do that. His pace is giving up on him. So it would be better for him to be in the in the, in the ten and feed in the, the striker. But this is just Barnes' opinion. I mean, I don't coach the team. I ain't a football tactician, but I just think that would be the best. And it will actually help him from a longevity standpoint. I don't think I think asking him what he's doing right now is going to just hurt him in the long run. And then the fan base is going to turn on him. Well, a lot of them have already. Um, I only want Salmo because I think it's time to cash out. And I think he's done a great job. And we need to move forward. And we need to move on. But that's just me. That's just me. Honestly, it's for how bad Darwin. Diaz, whatever. They have at least show some desire and will. With Salah, that's gone. Yeah. Yeah, Diaz for me will always be who he is. He's very not very clinical. He doesn't have no final third um, ability to score goals. Um, but let me be honest, he's always been that player. He had a one, a one purple patch season for Porto, and he wasn't good the year before that. And he would he came in with the ground running here. Um, and then it fell off and it's continued to fall off. So it is what it is. Maybe it's time for him to go. His dad's talking a madness all the time. So maybe it's time to cash out for him, right? Pedro Goncalves is a ball I'd take. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with him still. If we don't armor in or flick, I want Xavi, man. Juan La Liga, well, Barcus is in the ruins. Yeah, La Liga is a complete different animal to, to the Prem, though, to be honest, honesty. So I ain't too sure about that one. But yeah. I know Zab Zabi can handle the prime. Klopp needs to shut his mouth about us being easy to defend against. Has he fully lost his dressing room? That is a golden question. Has he? Unless Moore's in a slip of shot, Moore burns, then he can't shoot. Yeah. They bonkers put Moore as a striker or a 10. A 10 for me, not a striker. I think if we get 60 to 80 million tops for more. Honestly, with one year left, I'd take it. For 80 million, I'd take it. Fair enough. I'd like to see Salah retire at Liverpool because he's a legend. I think he can get back to playing like he did early in the season, but I understand your opinion. Yeah, it's just my opinion in OBW. I respect what you're saying as too as well. Um, I just think it's not we're not in the time that you can see players stay a whole long time in their career with one with one team, right? Um, especially if you start to see a drop off. If Mo, now, if the new manager goes to Mo and says, "Okay, Mo, you're with the squad. I can play you as a ten, um, but you can be a squad player. You're not going to be starting game in, game out." And Mo can accept that and be okay and be a part of the team and help us to do things. Then, fair enough, I would keep him, and that's fine. But if he demands that he wants to play it. And he is still the focal point of the team. Then for me, he got to go. You know what I mean? He just got to go. Captain Sal, big up as always. Minerals. Big up Barnes, confident for Fulham, Broski, Nunez in or out. Nunez is not playing. If anyone that just come in, I will share it again. This is my predicted mine. I don't have my colleagues with me, so... This is my predicted starting lineup for the team for the game tomorrow. Um, there's no Salah, no Nunez in my starting lineup. Zero. I actually like what Cody Gapo do with take ons and so forth. He wasn't bad. The last game against Atalanta, um, he's had more fight in him in the last two games than a lot of them, and I am perfectly fine with who he is. We we got there. We see who else is saying. Big up, Ottoman Turk. Big up to you. Psychedelic says, remember the last time Salah scored a hat trick? Seems like ages ago. Yeah, you would have to look back. That's probably a long time. Thoughts on Ivan Tony? I actually like Ivan Tony a lot. I said at the beginning of this season that I would sell Jota for Ivan Tony. I would trade Jota for Ivan Tony. People, 12th man came at me. Pause. Um, hard. I was trolling me actually for that comment, but 
the whole reasoning for my comment and doing that is from a, a longevity and from availability standpoint, Jotas get injured every season. I love Diego Jota. Don't get me wrong. He is our deadliest striker, but he is always injured. And Ivan Tony is lethal, lethal with quality. So maybe I sell Nunes and put keep Jota on the left and have Ivan Tony in the middle or the two of them tie team on the on the as a number nine. I don't know. That is up for Michael Edwards, but what I do know is that a lot of guys better be looking over their shoulder. Better be looking over their shoulder. Said on the panel yesterday, who thought Atleti, Barca, Arsenal, City, KO. That's what I predicted, like most people are. So nothing's definitive. It's true. Nothing is. Mo Osby, LFC legend, but I'd rather him go now a legend than, than stay past his date. That is how I feel. He's a legend. But I'd rather him go now than the foot, all the fan base turn on him, especially if he regress even more next season. Football is no place for sentimental at the end of modern game. I agree. I agree. Salah Diaz and Nunes collectively bring in. I'll be happy with that. Uh, you want to sell them all, Captain Sal. I don't blame you for what you're saying, to be honest. Done with Nunes, squad player till we get rid of him. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Elliot should start, I think. Um... If he's going to start, it will have to be the right-sided eight, but I don't want to see Sabozalai in this game either. I really don't, unless Klopp change it up big time and put Sabozalai on the right wing or change a formation and play a 4-2-3-1 and have Sabozalai in the 10, which we know Klopp in change in formation. It will be 4-3-3 tomorrow, and Elliot can't start on the right. I don't think he's as effective he doesn't affect games like how he affects games when he's playing in the in the right sided eight, in my opinion. Um, so unless it's the right sided eight, and you have Mac on the left sided eight, which is not his his ideal spot, Elliot for me don't work there. But yeah, big up to you, BW. That's your opinion, and I, I respect it. I mean, do you rate him yes or no? Go back to minerals. Nunez, no, he's not clinical. I think he's raw, but I think he has a lot of work to do. And he needs to work on his game, to be honest. Psychedelic says Gapo looks sharp lately. Just needs to score some goals. Yeah, he has looked sharp. He looks he's look on it, to be honest. He's look on it. So he pops and be trolling, right? When was the last time Tony scored a hat trick? To be fair, Tony's been out for majority of this season, so that's not a fair comment. The reason they played Darwin on the left wing, he was involved with two of the goals in the comeback. He won the ball in the air, passed to Salah, Salah to end or 3-3, and he was also involved in the winner. The left side, I think, would be better for him, to be honest, because of his pace. But striker? Nah, not for me. When I saw that stat, that pop sent us in the group chat. Nah, that's a little fight it for me. He's not a number nine. He's not. What's been annoying in the LFC? The mentality, man. These guys, these my, these guys head in the sand. Or these men have been hitting some magic mushrooms or something because they have not, not, and I ain't encouraging anybody to do any drugs. Don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm saying. Please don't do drugs. Um, I don't know how you could fall off that fast, that quick. And it all stems from that FA Cup game with United. Since that game, this team has been shambolic, in my opinion. And I ain't got no excuses for them. I don't know what it is. But what I do know is that if these players are only playing for the manager, then sell all of them. Because for me, club comes before manager all day every day the badge comes first you should be playing for the badge for the for what who you're playing for for what's on the front not as what on the back nor for the manager you should be playing for the club first and foremost 
So I have some sort of passion for the team and push forward. They also I think Robo goes this summer. Yeah, he very well will. I think we need to re, re, retool on the left side as a, a left back. In my opinion, uh, Simakas needs to go as well. Uh, I've given Simi a lot of time, a lot of time. Um, I've been one of his biggest supporters, but too inconsistent for me. Too, too inconsistent. Plus, he assisted winning the cup versus Fulham. Darwin got a very good record versus Fulham. Yeah. And he can come off in the second half and, and do some damage. I'd sell Nunes first before Salah, but that's for sure. Okay. Salah, I'm selling all except Gapo. <laughs> yeah, it's annoying. It's annoying, Minerals. I mean, I can't even want to say it. People could put in the chat how much consecutive games, well, with the exception of Atalanta, but every time these guys have been behind pause the opponent and then they got to do come back it takes a lot to fight back from a deficit to try to score and then go ahead you can't keep doing that it's not the proper recipe to to win a game i mean it's just foolish as far as i'm concerned and it's been stupid goals and lapses mentally that allow these goals to happen early too every game it's crazy I ain't know, man. I, I just don't know people's. It's very annoying. Moore's been out for three months. Not so, but I didn't hear that. Yeah, he has been out for three months. He has been, but he's a professional. I've seen a fall off. I've seen a fall off. I ain't giving nobody any excuses, guys. None. Zero. I have not seen what I what I would like to see from these guys. I am not. Receipt, big up. The whole team is tired. Yeah. I ain't know what it is. Big up, Gene. I'm hoping for a win tomorrow. It's a must against my ex-employer. Let's get it. Okay. Rooting, rooting for it for your for your sake, Gene. For my sake and for the fan base. We can we can't sell them all, Alexander. He's the newest. Yeah, it's true. Aaron says preach. <laughs> I'm hoping a bad form is more mentality than physicality or tactics, because if it's mentality, then it can turn around quickly. That is very true. It can. It is true, it can. I would love to see this team come out tomorrow and absolute put the boots to Fulham. But I know Fulham is not an easy team. And they got some dangerous players and they got pace. And I just don't know, guys. I ain't confident. Like my my confidence is shattered right now. I I gotta be honest. It's shattered. I don't I don't know what these guys are gonna do tomorrow. I could pray that they can do well and we can be happy on our reaction show can be a celebration, but I am not confident. And y'all can hear it when, when y'all hear my score prediction, to be honest. Darwin is in the number nine, played the whole career more from the left side. And when he plays nine, he drifts to the left. Yep, very true. Yeah, LFC bigger than anyone. Badge is most important. Yep. If they play for a manager and not the club, they're not professional. Simple as... That's what I'm saying, Darmizzi. That's what I'm saying. If they only play for the manager and not for the club, sell them all, to be honest. Sell them all. To play for the honor of having a request over your heart should be all you need for motivation. I 100% agree. That's how I feel. It should be about Liverpool first. Forget the manager. Forget the name that on your back that was given to you at birth from your parents. It's about the club that pays you and who you're playing for. The history of the club and the fan base. That comes first, first and foremost. But hey, I keep Robo sell some Semicas and get Kirkes. Okay. Semicas got to go. If you can keep Robo, he's a squad player. And he's your backup. He's not your number one. Crab wants um 
who we going up against tomorrow? Robinson as a new as a new uh, left back. I'm not fully sold on him yet, but he does have a tremendous amount of pace. Darwin, 32 big chances miss. Him and Salah have been munching mushrooms. Yeah, they might have been on a set of Vikings, to be honest. Craziness. I think they might have been talking to, to Ragnar Lothbrook, as far as they're concerned. Cole Palmer had taken a heartbeat. Yeah. A lot of his goals have been penalties, but he's an up-and-coming star, to be honest. Costa saying all of that, he's mid at best. Hmm. I think he's worse than mid, to be honest. I ain't give Tony no excuse, Pops. Barnes Nunez has missed 32 big chances, but scores seven out of them. That's criminal. His miss versus Luton might cost you. Ain't only the miss versus Luton, you know. There's been two matches, three matches. Uh, myself and Pops. Pops got it written on the block, but it right here in my mind. Brighton, grabbing Birch, missing our sitter, Luton with Nunes, and Trent with Arsenal at Anfield. Hitting the understudy of the bar and coming out when he want to hit the rocket instead of just placing the ball in back in net and beating Arsenal there. Those three, those three, we lose this league by a point. We lose this league by two points. Look at them three games right there. And I don't want to hear no excuses from anybody. That is on us. Big up, Quasi. People, make sure you head over to Quasi's channel and make sure you sub to this channel each and every time. Mods, you can put Quasi's um, link into the chat. Appreciate it. Hungry plays a 3 4 2 1. It's a buys like mainly further forward in a second. Behind the striker, not in the midfield three. Exactly. This is what I'm saying. So Bozalai is playing terrible because he's being asked to do things that he's not used to. If anyone watched when he played for Leipzig, he was playing more as a Roman, a Roman player, and more on the in the central of the of the pitch, not being asked to doing what the Jordan Henderson did for our club. He's not being played in the right position and it is hurt in his game. And in Hungary, he also plays behind the second striker as well, free roaming, being able to hit long shots, and so forth. It's not, he's playing bad. I ain't giving him no excuse. He's playing terrible. He can't pass a ball. He can't make a pass. His shooting's been off. Can't can't hit the bars. Can't hit the flipping wall crossbar. Can't hit net. Nothing. But. He running about, and now it don't even seem that he really want to run about. And now Trent, when he come back, since he's come back, just going to midfield and bombing forward and leaving the right side completely open. And Ibu is being asked to cover the entire right side with nobody there. It's not a good recipe for a success. I can be honest. That's why we do away with the whole inverted nonsense. Go back to clock ball, but again, as I said in the beginning of the stream these are linders tactics that Klopp is going with because a lot of these players that was signed is players linders wanted captain saw these players have mentally checked out for the season they can't see us winning the game at all pops has saved the boot for the ev it will take a one nil at the cottage Go spoil being the one remaining. I don't want that. Hmm. Gene like Tony still. Yeah, I'm with it. Barnes attackers are a bit mad at the moment, but we created beer chances. We're in Man U and Palace. I can't couldn't score, and that's not on clock. No, that's on the quality of the players. That's on the players not being able to hit hit a barn door. Even if you put a, a million dollars in front of the barn door, none of them was able would be able to hit it the way they've been doing. But maybe we don't have the right players. Maybe these guys aren't cl clinical. Who knows? Thoughts on, on Baldy? Who's that? Captain South 3 1, full of win, but I hope I'm wrong. Ooh. Dang. 
Darwin Nunes is in the top 10 players with goals and assists in the Premier League this season. 11 goals and 8 assists in relation to striker. Only Watkins, Holland, and Solanka are ahead of him. Yeah, that's stats, but look how much look how bad he's missed. Yeah, Gene. I'd take him this summer. I'd take him this summer. All day, every day. Remember what I said, guys, in a few streams ago. Arsenal before today has scored two more goals than us, and we've shot we've outshot them by over 112 more and scored two goals less. That is terrible. Terrible. So, yes, we do create, but we can't score. Been bad. Been so many games. We've been missing bad, bad goals that should have been tap ins or easy goals. And we just find somewhere to F it up. Let me be honest. Let me defend my guard, Darwin. He also won a six point score brace versus Newcastle in a late winner versus Forest. If he didn't, we would have been worse off. Yes. And kudos to him for doing that in those games. But you have to call a spade a spade and call him out for how unclinical he is. Richard Hutchins, Hutt, Hutchinson, big up to you. Liverpool FC playing the same system, formation, and tactics. Klopp has his favorite side to side passing, tired, fatigue, burnt out, injuries. Klopp loves 4 3 3, playing players in the wrong positions. Exactly. Exactly. It's all good, man, Rich. I think if people's got their um, everything off the chest yesterday in the call in show. Did that loss versus Spuds and Diaz legit goal cost you? Nah, nah, nah. That ain't it. I just named I named the ones earlier. Yes, exactly, Captain So Klopp has hand and nice, so was like. Ruben Amarin ready for step up to become Liverpool manager. I think he could do a job, to be honest. And at least it would be a new, fresh, a new, fresh look, fresh tactics, fresh ideas. And we could do something. Fresh formation. Liverpool's been playing for 3 3 for what, eight, nine years now? Yes, yeah, time to time to see something different. Big up Sam Max. Big up gang. What's going down? Yeah, we just chatting about the game, Sam Max. Welcome. Blessings to see you. Gene Gray 100 M is way too much, but the recent ru rumors have been way lower. Yeah, I don't think they can get 100 M's Brentford for a 20. It will be less for sure. And we got Michael Edwards back, so you know how he gonna operate. I think with our new manager, we play a 3 4 2 1. It's more suited to our current and new players, and we look more solid, in, in my opinion. That could be very, very true. Three at the back, four in the middle, two, and then the your lone striker. That may be possible. That probably could be right. I actually like that idea, Sam Max. ESAP may also be an option in summer. Now, there's a player that I would take because he scored. 18 goals or 17 goals in 24 games in the Prem. No, that is what you call efficiency. His injuries is the only thing that scares me a little bit. But Isak's quality. Richard said Liverpool can't create and can't finish our chances. We create him, but we just can't finish him. Can't finish the dinner at all. It's spilling all up on the floor on a reel. The hungry, the hungry bad, these people. Clopping is replacing players with another player, like replacing a door with a window. Great to see the box side of it. Yep, yeah. Fox. Okay. Well, there's a young left back at Barker. Don't, honestly, I, um, I don't watch Barcelona, so okay. I would take a peep at him. I probably have a look at a YouTube comp compliment compilation because I, I don't really, I don't peep La Liga too tough at all, unless it ain't Champions League. Liverpool should have been in the FA Cup playing coverage of the city and playing Marseille in the Europa League semifinals. 100%. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Didn't happen. And that is squarely on us. Now, nah, honestly, I don't want Alvarez, to be honest. I don't. Big up, Trigger. Big up. I like how you combine Nunes' assists with goals, but Chris Wood has scored more than him in the Prem. Yep, it is true. He has. Something needs to change. Yeah, we can get it next season. 
new manager, new style, new everything. I know Darwin is not clinical, but he got more in the, to his game than Isak. Isak is a better finisher. He's a lot quicker than Isak, but I would put because of, because of Isak's ability to finish to finish a, a ball and get a goal, I'd put him above Darwin for me. Isak has high footballing IQ in it, in his day and the age that attribute is crit is critical injuries aside. Wish you put a bit in it for him. Yeah. Would you take Hincapi or Estupian? I uh Hincapi is plays the left side, left side of the, uh, the uh, center back. So I would take Hincapi still. If you're gonna play a back three, have Hincapi play on the left side, Virgil in the middle, middle and Konate on the right. The three of them playing together for me would be would solidify our defense with Ali behind them. Because let me be honest, Kelleher will probably ask for first team football next year. So he probably will be sold in the summer and, and be off to another team as well. So we would have to find a replacement. Adrian's going to be gone. Don't want to see Adrian back in his team. He offers us nothing. He just collects a salary. Straight, straight goods. He just collects a salary. Revenite, Gapo, Isak, Kudus, my front three next season. We ain't getting all three of them, Revenite. Well, but we got Gapo already, but I don't see us getting Kudus and Isak. Mind you, because of Newcastle's situation with the FFP, if that is something that you actually have, maybe, because they do have to sell players. They do. I've heard Edwards wants to get rid of some of the players we got in the last two years because he doesn't think that it will suit the style we would be playing. Yeah. That's why I said a lot of these players need to look over the shoulder because... It could be a serious change up this this summer. Big up K Mac. Big up to you as always. People head over. Make sure you sub to K Mac channel as well. Mods, you can put his um his channel URL in the link in the the chat as well. Question: What if there are many gap pull with a new system will cook? Because sometimes a new system can do wonders. Yeah, it could, to be honest. I think Darwin would be more effective if we play on the left side. And Gapo likes the left side as well. That's where he's most comfortable. That's where he plays for Holland. Um, so, yeah, I mean, anything. We, this team could still be similar with the amount of player and personnel we have and then add a couple of players to replace the ones that are leaving this summer. Um, that's on a free. but And the team could be different be just because of a, a simple switch of formation. <clears throat> a simple switch of a formation. We might see this team cook, but we would have to wait and see. I will know because I know when I go and watch the game in the summer, we will see. Hopefully, but I know the youngsters probably will get more run then than than anything else. Man, shit, he looked tired today. Chelsea didn't take full advantage of their chances like us, to be honest. Yeah. And Nasu is coming with Amaran. That's our first sign in. Fair enough. I take Ignacio Tarmizi, but you know me. I sold on, on Malik Thia. I like him. I like that kid. He's quality. He's quality. Um, but Ignacio, to me, would be... Um, you know what? Yeah, Ignacio would be would be the better fit right now because I don't see if Milan getting rid of Thia. And maybe the new manager surprised me and, 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 and pick him, too, as an as a extra player. Who knows? We got to replace Matip. <clears throat> um, maybe we need to bolster the back, the center backs, because we can be playing a different formation and have a rotation between them and not have a <clears throat> rinse and out Verge. Maybe Verge don't play a game in game out. <clears throat> That's if he even on the as is in in the team. That's even if he's still here. Who knows? What's this? What's all this love for Cody last week? Man wanted Cody gone after the Man U game. I think he's still new with the club that we don't know if he's going to be sold, to be honest. But who knows what Edward's going to do? Who knows? Plenty of time. Plenty of tech in there. Yeah. Alan Varela will be our DM next season. Edward is wanting him from time. Okay. Fair enough. I'll take that. 
I just want to see Endo can stay with the club and be a backup in his six, to be honest. Nunes, Jota, Salo be your best forward line. Nunes and Salah at the beginning of the season had this connection together. I don't know what happened. Um, it's it just not there right now. So who knows? <laughs> All I said is he was a French raid. Didn't hype him up. Okay. Release clauses or, or us. L LOL. Uh, honestly, says Barnes, we're looking at Almarin. For all we know, it'll be Gary O'Neill or Thomas Frank. Edwards is CEO, but FSG is the final boss. Um, FSG is the final boss, but I think they've appointed Edwards to actually take over the football, complete take over the football sides. They would just sign off on the on the checks and the stuff that he wants to do. Um, they have, listen, they have no interest in the team to run it as a football team. This is not their thing. One thing I will give give FSG kudos for is that they're smart businessmen. They make business decisions based on their brand and enhancing and expanding their brand. They don't get involved with the Boston Red Sox. They just sign the checkbooks. They have a GM for that. Um, they have a manager that runs the team. Yes, the team ain't doing very, very well now, very well now, but they've won a few world championships. So they're good business people, but they're not they're not gonna get involved. That's why they waited for Edwards, because the last and they convinced him to to start running his own company and come back to Liverpool, which we never thought he would have. Um, because they've clearly seen that not having that that person there, um, we've made some questionable decisions and it's cost us. It could have cost us a, a few leagues, to be honest. VVD will love playing in Amarin team. He can play those 60 yarders all game. Yeah, he might, he probably is still going to be here. I'm just saying. We can't guarantee that anybody is going to be here. Who can be here and who's not going to be here? How much for Luis Diaz and Mohamed Salah? Uh, if we sell Salah, probably 60, 80. Diaz, you're probably going to get 50. Maybe. Maybe. I want that bum Darwin sold. He's completely useless. Worst strike in the history of LSC. And I've been following them since 1977, so I've seen plenty. Okay. Even worse than uh, Andy Carroll. Captain Sal, what are you saying? How do we get into your calling shows, Barnes? On Friday, you're going to notice, Trigger, that at the top of the chat, the pin for the UR, the pin for the, um, the stream yard is the stream yard link is pinned to the top of the, the chat. So you just click on that and that will bring you straight into the call in show on a Friday with Angela and the boys. Um, sometimes I'll be in, I'll be on on Friday as well, but some, most of the time it's going to be Angel and, and Pops and, um, and Crab. But sometimes I'll be on on Friday as well. Tia's capable in different defensive positions, right back, center back, and CDM like Joe G, but better. Yeah, he is. I agree with you. I'd take him. I'd take him, to be honest. You know, Tarmizzi, I've been shouting for him from the rooftops for a while. But Klopp wasn't listening, so I stopped shouting. You know what I mean? <laughs> and though by such as Morton, if you can get Varela, that's four dms one needs to go on loan i don't see tyler morton go back on loan yeah tyler morton probably won't but i think by probably will go on loan to be honest to get some repetition in his legs um i think morton will be a part of the team next year to be honest we will cook again with edwards back in the right manager yeah i agree pop says captain style you've forgotten a few the ant he ain't worse than Eric Meyer, Veroen, and a few others. Yeah, it's true. I called one, Andy Carroll. Use your tech and get with the corner there, bro. <laughs> oh, Captain Sal actually think the the better when it comes to being ambitious owners. FSC are trash, but as businessmen, they're smart. No FFE charges. We are very healthy. Expand the stadium, new facility. That part I don't complain. Yeah, they're businessmen. 
They're businessmen, but they're not ambitious because they don't want to be involved. They know nothing about football. Nothing. That is why Edwards is back. That is why Edwards is back. Revenue says, I'll call my pal Gap Puff for a one, too. <laughs> Trigger our Friday night shows has been lit. So, yeah, come in, man. It's be a lot of fun. Man, I know you floor me there. Mayor is better. <laughs> uh, with internationals being in the summer, will, will the muscle injuries suck, suck back up next season? Um, I think with a different formation of stuff, you might not see. We're going to need a new a new medical staff and so forth as well. So I don't see us having the same injury issues because the style of play is going to be completely different. I don't think we're going to be having the same type of injury issues that we've seen over the last few years. Because if we study it, the last five, six seasons, we've had a serious issue when it came to um, to injuries. A serious, serious issue. Um, I don't know if it's his style. I don't know if it's the medical staff. I don't know if he's a manager. I can't point fingers. I don't know. But it has been jarring, to be honest. I've been... Um, I've been rooting for my boy Angel to take over the the um the medical staff, but let me see what happens. Let me see what happens. Gravendino, I've heard some rumors that um there was a Gatasat Gatasatarai is um is looking for Gravenbirch um in the summer. I'm not sold on Gravenbirch, guys. I am not um uh, I think he's a, a quality player, but I don't think he suits Liverpool. I don't think he suits the Prem. Um, he doesn't look hungry enough. He doesn't look like he has that that dog in him. He's very passive, and I think he can be bullied off the ball. To be honest with you, and um, yeah, we think he will cook in other leagues, but just not in Liverpool or or the Prem. To be honest, but that's just my opinion, right? That's just my opinion. I told you we want new players. We need new medical staff. That's more important than a player at the moment. Yeah, we do. We everybody's gone though, so everything everything can be new. Everything can be new. None of those strikers has as as missed as many as Darwin. So in that respect, they're better than Darwin. <laughs> ah, Darwin boy, jeez, you, Darwin Nunes. Peoples, let me get into the score prediction for tomorrow. I want to see everyone that here. Tell me who they who they want to see for or who they want who what is the score line for tomorrow? What is the score line? Put it in the chat. We can I can pull them up for everybody. And at the end, I gonna give you all my prediction. Pop start the train. Pops thinks it's gonna be a one 0 Liverpool win. Trigger TV two one Liverpool. Revenite 1-1, one, one, Gapo goal. Jeez, you. That's a draw, Revenite. Fine, base going to go crazy. You know that. BW 2-1, Liverpool. I've seen a lot of Liverpool. You and me both pushing for Angel to get the job. Yep. I want Angel to get that job. 3-1, LFC. Jota Cody, Ibu Header for them. Robinson. Yeah, Robinson crab like him a lot. 2-1, away a win. All right, I see a lot of people. Alexander Boy, 4-0, Salah, Matt, Diaz, and Jones. Jeez, you. Mac and Steez, 2-2 draw. Big up to you. I know I hope we win. I don't need more stress. <laughs> so your guy scores, we still don't win. Pops, <laughs> Pops to Revenite. <laughs> Captain Sal, 3-1 Fulham. Oh, there's one for Fulham. And he got the crying emojis. Unfortunate parts, we got some bozos that will let us down. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I didn't see no one else coming up with, with predictions right now. <sighs> Guys, I call them a 2-1 Fulham win. Yeah. And confidence at all. 2-1 Fulham win. 
I know you guys can clip me up, but that's perfectly fine. I don't see anything changing different than what we've seen in the last few games, to be honest. I don't think these guys can just miraculously turn it around and be on the boil and 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 do things. I got to be realistic. These men have shown in the last few, and they've been bad and terrible. And I don't see it changing. I ain't all I ain't all peoples. Jeans 2 1 FC Jordan and Darwin. I hope I completely wrong, but who's getting our goal? Our goal, Barnes? Jota. Jota. Yeah. And for them, Harry Wilson and Raul Jimenez. I hope I completely wrong, peoples. I really do. I really, I really do think feel it. I want to be wrong. Trust me. But I can't, I can't give you a prediction from my heart. I gotta give you from my head from what I have seen the last few weeks from this club. That's that's all I could say. You know what I mean? But anyway, peoples, that's it for me. Preview time. Catch us tomorrow. Watch along. We can be on at 11.20 Eastern time. Come in, join the BHN Reds, and um, we can have some laughs and stuff while we're watching the game. But, yeah, hopefully I'm completely wrong, but let me see what happens. Big up, Mari. Love as always to you. Big up to everybody. Here's John Barnes and the crew. Peace out. Peace.